when we have a reverse percentage question, a percentage change has already taken place and we want to know the original amount before the percentage change happened. Here we've got an example that says the price of a pack of toilet rolls was increased by 20%. The pack of toilet rolls now costs £3.24. Work out the original price. I want to start by saying what we cannot do. So we cannot say the price increased by 20%. So let's get £3.24, take 20% off of it, and that will get us back to where we started. It won't, and I'll show you why. So if you have £100 and you take off 10%, 10% 10 of 100 is 10. So if I take off 10%, I'll have £90. Then if I added 10% onto 90, 10% of 90 is 9. So 90 plus 9 is 99 pounds. So this doesn't work. 10% of the original amount and 10% of the new amount are different numbers. So this is not an option. So let's look at what we can do. Let's call the original 100%. And we increased by 20%, so we added on 20%. That gives us 120%. So we can say that £3.24 is 120% of the original. And we can actually write this as an equation. We can say the original times 120%, or 120% as a decimal, which is 1.2 is equal to £3.24. So if the original times 1.2 equals £3.24, we can find the original by dividing both sides by 1.2. So if I divide both sides of this equation by 1.2, I will get, I'll grab the calculator, 3.24 over 1.2, which is 27 over 10. I press S to D button and get 2.7. So I can say X is equal to 2.7, or because it's money, that will be £2.70. Okay, here's a question for you to try. So pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to go through the answer. So a share price of a company increased by 6%. So 100% plus 6%. 100% plus 6% is 106%. The price is now 371 pence per share. Work out the share price before the increase. So the original, we're going to call X times 106% or as a decimal 1.06 equals 371. So if I want to get X by itself, the original by itself, I divide both sides by 1.06. So I can type into the calculator 371 divided by 1.06 and that gets me 350. So my original is 350 pence. So if I've got 350 pence and I add on 6%, I get 371 pence. If I've got £2.70 
and I add on 20%, I get £3.24. Okay, another example. The price of petrol decreased by 25%. Petrol now costs £1.2, 102 pence per litre. Work out the price of petrol before the price decreased. So this time we've got a decrease. So 100% was the original. And we took off 25%. So we've got 75%. So to work out 75% in one calculation, you get the original and you multiply it by 75% of the decimal, which is 0 0.75. So the original times 0 0.75 is 102. And to find the original, I divide both sides by 0 0.75. So 102 divided by 0 0.75, type it into the calculator. And we've got 136. So it was 136 pence. So if you get 136, take 25% off, you get 102. Okay, a question for you to try. So pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you are ready for the answer. In a cell, prices are reduced by 12%. So if we had 100% and we took off 12%, that means we've got 88%. So as a multiplier, that's 0 0.88. So the original times 0 0.88, 88 percent of the original is 440 pounds. The TV now costs 440 pounds. So to work out the original price, I divide both sides by 0 0.88. So 440 divided by 0 0.88 type it into the calculator and we get 500 so the original price of the tv is 500 pounds if we've got 500 pounds and we take off 12 percent we get 440 pounds Okay, to finish up two questions, pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Question one, a car's value falls by 15% in a year. The value of the car at the end of the year was £7,140. Work out the value of the car at the start of the year. So it's gone down by 15%. So 100% take off 15% is 85%. So that's 85%. So 85% of the original is 7,140. So it's 85% or as a decimal 0 0.85. To get x by itself, divide both sides by 0 0.85. So 7140 divided by 0 0.85. Type it into the calculator. And that's 8,400 pounds. So if you get £8,400, take off 15%, you should get 7140 And question two, the price of a train ticket increases by 4%. The train ticket now costs £54.60. 
what was the price of the train ticket before the increase. So we've increased by 4%. So 100% plus 4% is 104%. Or as a multiplier, as a decimal, 1.04. So the original times 1.04 equals £54.60. To get x by itself, to get the original, divide both sides by 1.04. So 54.6 divided by 1.04, and that is £52.50. So £52.50.